a passion for cars inspired your music career, or was it the other way around? I was into cars before music when I was a little kid, and I would drive my bike 10 miles across town to the Ford dealer to see the first Mustang. I'd go in the back and lift the hoods up, you know, and uh, they'd say, hey, get out of here, kid. <laughs> get my bike. I was just, I was really a car guy. But it, cars inspired one thing, the way these cars sound. I try to sing that way. I yeah. try to sing in that high, and my guitar sound, I strive to get a Ferrari at a 7,000 RPM, six carbureted freaking Daytona. That's what I want my guitar yeah, to yeah. sound like, you know. What's the fastest you ever went in a car, Jake? I was in a jet car on the on the Salt Flats at 278. Oh my God. Wow, I never went over two, uh, up to 200. I, I, this oh, is you a gotta go over 200. Come I on. have never done it, Sammy, Jake. You know, I only got one car on. that will do it. The La Ferrari. We take the La Ferrari and go, you take it 200. Things happen too fast. I've had this flat out, which is about 178, 179, right. 180. That road just got so narrow. I know, you know, things happen quick at Man, 200. That should be your doing. next song. Things happen quick at 200. <laughs> That's a great title for a yeah. song. Yeah. Well, I gotta find out first, though. about it just pull over uh -oh. oh man jay this ain't pretty i don't even know if my car if i have my insurance card sir step me. out of the car okay <sighs> step back to the car right here yes uh okay how you doing man good yeah step over here. sure yes sir Can you step out of the car oh yeah Jay Leno. Hey, how are you? I didn't know it was you. Oh, good this. to see you, it's sir. It's great to see you. Oh, thank you. How thank have you, you been? Buddy. Good, 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 hey, good. Hey, thanks for uh, doing that benefit. Oh, I love doing benefits for you guys. And this guy picked what? me up and it just got a little. Hey, come on, I do benefits. You want me to take care of this car? Yeah, would you mind? I'll, I'll oh, take, thank you very man. much. He's going to go with me. Yeah, yeah, You're fine. free to go. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate oh, it. Jay. Being placed under arrest. Look at him. Look at him. I was only doing about 90. <laughs> the first cool thing you bought when you made money in music? Was it a car or a motorcycle? You know what the first thing I bought when what? I made money? What? A piano. A oh, piano? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. A grand piano. And I slept under it. Oh, is that right? I yeah, slept yeah. under the piano. Have you still got that one? Yes. Yeah. And what was the first vehicle you bought? The first vehicle I bought was an Audi Fox. Oh, an Audi Fox. A sensible car. Wow, wow, this is totally out of character. I thought it was like a foreign car. You right. Know? It was, I thought it was a sexy little car, and it, it was easy to drive. So it seems like you started out as an old man and have gotten younger. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Automotively. So what first got you interested in cars and motorcycles? Motorcycles I always liked since I was a kid. Motorcycles and rock and roll were the same thing. Loud, noisy. Yeah. Uh, cars recently, but motorcycles always. So were you one of those kids that just, was it the DMV when you're 15 and, and 9 tenths waiting to get your license? I didn't have a, a motorcycle license until I was in my 30s. Really? Yeah. I just drove without a motorcycle license. Oh, you just, but you had motorcycles, yeah. I had motorcycles but on and off, and then I got serious about it in my late 20s. I always missed the bikes I sold or gave away. And I said, I want that back, I want that back. That's when I started collecting. This is a beautiful area. Yes, this is Bayville. My mom used to take us here when we were kids. We'd jump off the bridge, and you go fishing, and we'd borrow boats. Yeah, borrow boats. Just take them off the mooring, go for a rug, come back. 
Yeah, I think the real key to success is never forgetting where you came from. I think that keeps it being fun because I'm still startled and overwhelmed by what I'm doing. Stadiums. I'm a piano player. What the hell am I doing in a baseball stadium? Right. But yeah, they're coming. Forty thousand people. Yay! <laughs> okay. All right. Now, Oyster Bay may be only eight miles from where Billy grew up. So this is my property. Oh, this is a beautiful piece of property. Yeah. But man, it's a world apart. I used to work on an oyster boat out here. Oh, is that right? And yeah. look up at this house, and I curse at the people, rich bastards. <laughs> yeah. Never worked a day in your life. And now I own the place. Yeah. Which I really enjoy, because I don't really belong here. <laughs> but that's what makes it fun. I'm waiting wow. for the owner to come back and throw me out. <laughs> This is my first time on a racetrack. Well, see, first time for everything. <laughs> well, I know this is your day off. I know you're right in the middle of the tour. So how's the tour oh, going? Good? The tour is going great. It's been five years since I've been on tour. Now, Head Above Water is a new album. Tell me about the title. Why? What, what does that refer to? What's the first single off the record? OK. It was a song that I wrote about my, my health journey. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that Lyme disease deal. Yeah, so I fought that for a couple of years. Wow. I'm happy to be driving. I'm happy to be on tour and yeah. living life. Well, you started at 15, right? Yeah, yeah, my first album came out when I was 17. Complicated and Skater Boy. And what year were you first on The Tonight Show with me? Do you remember? I would have been 17. Right, right. So you want to get your speed up and then brake right before the turn and then power through the turn. Go right into that corner right there. Right to, tight as you can. See, try to get near that white line. Ooh, you kind of go yeah. wide. That's it. There you go. Doing good. The idea is to always kind of keep the car going straight, even when you're going around a curb. Cut the wheel. Yep, now get on the gas. There you go. There you go. I feel like I'm in a video game right now. Yeah, well, it is like a video <laughs> game, yeah. yeah. There you go. Now you're doing good. Give a little more gas. Give a little more gas. So in Canada, you just say, give her. Give her, eh? Give her, eh? <laughs> Now go this way, step on the brake, and then cut the wheel way over there. Oh, this is easy. Well, yeah, that's because we're not going that fast, but no. Okay, yeah, we're going imagine 30. Imagine you go 100, and it gets a little crazy. Give her it. Don't be afraid of it, Lassie. <laughs> there you go. All right, pick it up some speed. Really? There we go. Let's see if she gets it over 100 miles an hour. Are you ready to go? Oh, my gosh. Okay, you're going to put your foot right to the floor, okay? All the way to the floor. <laughs> there you go. Keep going, keep going, that's it. You're doing good. Oh, you're doing fast. Oh, my God. There you go. 100 miles an hour, that's good. <laughs> that's so fun. Want me to take you around for a lap? Absolutely. All right, we'll switch off. It's not every day you get to go on a racetrack with Jay Leno. Or Avril Lavigne. shows you what a good car this is. Wow. How you doing there? You OK? I'm holding down my lunch. <laughs> Purple frame rail was kind of a tribute to taking a piece of Cadzilla, so it's bad little sister of Eliminator, still going to have some yeah. purple in it, Cadzilla purple. But you do get that sense of machine meets art. Can we take it for a ride? I think we should. Let's do it. Let's Time do to fire it up. Button this thing. Before we do that, can you throw me the keys so we can recreate it like you did in the video? Yeah. All right, let me get over here. Yeah. OK. OK, sun's kind of in my eye, but go ahead. Let's try it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hear a lawsuit coming. You OK? It's all right. It's all right. It's OK. You good enough to drive? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I my eyes. You take some of the cars, don't you? 
The Eliminator. Uh, we loaned it to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You can still go up and see it. Of course, Catzilla sits at the Peterson Auto Museum. Right. Well, tell me about your relationship between music and cars. Well, I've been asked many times, why does rock and roll and cars? Maybe we should go back to Chuck Berry, 1955, Maybelline. Maybelline, yeah. And then, of course, before that, Rocket 88. Rocket 88. There's Hot Rod Lincoln. Oh, my gosh. There's always been this connection. Yeah. yeah. Nobody really has uh, the definitive answer. I just kind of go with it, knowing yeah. that fast, loud. Let's leave it at that. Sharp dressed man with a well made point. I think we've eased down the highway enough in this old whiskey runner. It's time to put these legs to use. Jay, it's been a great one, man. Thanks. It's really cool. Welcome. Are you ready for your lesson? Uh, sort of, yes and no. I mean, you should learn to drive before you die. Before you move to LA. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How do you get around Los Angeles? I mean... Well, my missus used to be a race car driver in Germany, so that kind of helps. This is your gear shift lever. You have P. What do you think P stands for? Park. Park, very good. R? Uh, rest. Uh, reverse. <laughs> reverse, okay. N is neutral. D is drive. Oh, I like the sound of that. There we go. All right, let's put it in drive. Squeeze the button. To D. Hey, don't touch the gas. You'll take your foot off the brake. I'm easily confused by directions. I never truly understood the value of a seatbelt until this very moment. OK, OK, go forward. There we go. OK, forward. Hands on the wheel. Here we are. Oh, so we can turn this yeah, way. Yeah, don't run over the cone. Not yet. Yeah, I think you just ran over a cone. Oh, success. <laughs> Which could have easily been a pedestrian. And I was just going to admire myself. Yeah, I know. OK, you give it a little more gas. Give it a little more gas. Be careful. Be oh, careful. wow. This thing's got some power in it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, I like it. It's great. Step on the brake. See you come to a full stop. Put it in reverse. Or Okay, right hand down. I don't know what that means. That means right hand goes down. <laughs> <laughs> it's right, Kipruzi. Right that's, hand down means... It's the means... first I've heard of it. Hold, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. Not bad. Now we're going to try a manual shift car. And what was that? This was an automatic. But it wasn't. I had to touch it and move it about. Once you put it in D, it automatically shifts for you. We're going to get in the car now. You have to shift by hand. Oh, one of them old stick things that we did. About the stick thing. That's yeah. it. That's it, lad. Well, this is very, uh, what? Ciao, Italiano. Very Italian, yeah. Ah, that's why. I need sunglasses for handsomeness. There you are. Okay. Clutch is the one you have your foot on now. Right. Okay. Okay, hands up. Oh, you stalled it. Okay. Press the button again. Okay. Now you're in neutral. Rev the engine. You'll hear it. That's okay. the, the, the gas one, right? That, that's correct. All ah, right. Now what? Moving forward. To what? To that? one, yeah. Well, okay. Let the clutch out slowly and give it a little bit of gas. <laughs> well, we're going somewhere. Give it a little bit of gas. Oh, just not getting the hang of this at all. Let the clutch out slowly, giving a little bit of gas at the same time. Ah. Oh. Very good. Hey, ciao. Hey, ciao, 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 that's right. I am Johnny Romantico. Johnny Romantico, that's correct. <laughs> now uh, we'll try our first shift. You're going to go into second gear while you're rolling like this. All right. I put the clutch in, come straight back into second. OK, let the clutch out, give it a little bit of gas. There you go, now you're in second gear. You've crushed it. You've got two gears. Second gear. Lovely. Sometime next year, we'll try third gear. <laughs> I could be a valet parker. I got the talent. I know, yeah. <laughs> OK, stop for a second. Stalled! Try to park in between the clowns. Yes, sir. OK, oh, OK, OK, oh, oh. Oh, no, no, no. Did I miss it? No, you hit the clown perfectly. <laughs> well, that's parked. 
Yeah, that, that's L.A. parking. <laughs> you know, aside from a few casualties... He just ran over a cone. Yeah, there you go. Hold, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. Johnny did pretty good. <laughs> Congratulations, Jay. Look, here you go. Here you are. It's a Jay Lone's Garage driver's license. <laughs> Mercy buck up, Sponsor. Look, I'm a first stage wanker at it, you know? I'm gonna take the you like the automatic? You wanna drive that one home? I'm gonna improve Look, myself. Good, I tried, well, we let us leave before you, all right? You just give me five minutes. I'll follow you. Yeah, thanks! <laughs> Coming, ready or not? Have you gotten any tickets? Uh, more than a few. Really? Yeah. I lost my license on a number of occasions. Really? Did a few nights in jail. Uh, you had a road rage incident. Uh, what happened with the road rage incident? It was one of those things, you know. You start cutting each other off and racing, and then uh, it turns evolves into a very bad. I don't want to go back there, Jay. I don't want to go back. There. I'll tell you a funny road rage incident. Okay. One day I'm in my car, and a guy's behind me. So I'm like, okay. So I go, I say, go, go around. I see, he gives me the finger, and I go, oh, all right. They go by me, and they go by me, it gives me the finger. I go, what's that all about? So I pull on to the next line, and I go, put the window down. And I look down, and I say, let me guess. You're 50, you're fat, you're bald, you're divorced. Your kids hate you. Your best day was what, high school? Your best day was high school? And he starts crying. No. Now he starts crying, and now I feel terrible. I go, look, pull over, pull over. So he pulls over, he goes, you're right, everything I said was right. And I said, look, man, I didn't mean it, I'm sorry. But I had nailed him perfectly. And I said, hey, you want to come to the Tonight Show? And actually, we became friends. I gave him tickets to the Tonight Show. I'm going to use that right. next time, because yeah. the tire iron got me in trouble. Oh, yeah. You had a tire iron? <laughs> I had a tire iron. Yeah, no, it was a tire iron. Yeah, you don't want to use the tire yeah, iron. The tire no, on. no. I like words, words. No. Okay, we see how she does on the street. Want to take her to the strip? Oh, absolutely. Let's go to Pomona. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you got to drive down here. Let me drive on the strip. It's all yours, babe. All yours. Brother Jay, I'm in your hands. <laughs> Welcome to I Killed a Rockstar! <laughs> well, let's do a little burnout first. Activate line lock. Release. This is a first for me, man. Oh, yeah, I've been on a drag strip before? I've never been on a drag strip before. I'm virgin! I'm a virgin! Be gentle. Kids, this is a perfect family car. Absolutely, just throw them in the back of them and roll around a little bit. And you know, you, you know, the kids are late for soccer practice. This is what you want to have. Absolutely. I gotta do it again. Yes! We got wheel lift. Jay did it. We got wheel lift? Oh, got it off the ground? <laughs> this is a bucket list. This is a bucket list? Think they'll give us a deal on two? Yeah, we have one by two. <laughs> I gotta do it again. CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you'll find videos from all your favorite CNBC shows. Be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Click on the videos around me and watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.